Good morning. Here's Stanley and here's Lucy. We're having a slow Monday morning. I need to be on my way right now, but I gotta get this thing done. We had a good morning, went on a walk. And there are a couple of dogs wandering in the neighborhood. I couldn't, they're wearing tags. I'm sure they just escaped from somebody's yard. And I had these dogs, we were walking and so I couldn't go look at their tags. I don't know if it'll let me anyway, but so I had to, I was afraid they might try and escape once we got home, or at least, well, Lucy couldn't escape, but Stanley could escape. Lucy, you need to get in the, in the screenshot better. Anyway, it's time for me to get going. There was something I was going to say. I don't remember. Oh, I got a thing on Facebook, I noticed on Facebook that four years ago today was my move day from Heiko. It's just so hard to believe that I have been in Kleber now four years. And, um, you know, that I left Heiko four years ago and I left Newcastle over nine years ago. It's just, time is just flying. I guess I'm closer to retirement now than that I am to the beginning of my ministerial career, I guess, by about 10 years. Help. Stanley, are you ready to go outside? No, you're not. You're going to sit down and act like you belong here. And you do belong here, boy. But you've got to go outside. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You gotta wait outside too, Lucy. Okay. Well, our scripture reading today comes from Galatians 5, and I think it's 16, or maybe it's 6. I don't remember. I just looked it up like two minutes before I start, or really 10 seconds before I turn this video on. Um, Galatians 6. Seven through nine. Hello. Wrong chapter I was in. Okay. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked, for you reap whatever you sow. If you sow your own flesh, you will reap corruption from the flesh. But if you sow to the Spirit, you will reap eternal life from the Spirit. So let us not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now our reading from Christian maturity. Karma and the cross. We said yesterday that karma and redemption are at the very heart of our spiritual choice. Karma says there is no forgiveness. You reap what you sow somewhere, somehow. The Hindu statement of it is, just as a calf will find its mother among a thousand cows, so your deeds will find you out among a thousand rebirths. An American who had become a Buddhist said, My brother, who is a Roman Catholic priest, is praying for my soul, and the joke of it is that I have no soul. I'm just coming together of I'm just a coming together of past deeds, and when they are dissolved, I dissolve them in the nirvana. Sunyavada, Sunyavadi, or nothingness. And then he added, I do not want a God offering to forgive my sins. I prefer to work them out myself. He implied that it was more mature to take the way of karma rather than redemption. We must examine this matter carefully. A misstep here means a destiny misstep. The chairman of one of my meetings in India, a Hindu member of the Legislative Assembly, and the head of a large sugar mill said to an audience, 26 years ago, when I was a student at a Christian college, I heard the speaker speak on a subject I've never forgotten. For weeks after that address, inside the classroom and outside, the students and faculty discussed that address. It was entitled, Karma and the Cross. He saw that that title brought to a head the religious choice of the whole of the East. And this choice is at the basis of our religious life of the West. For this thought of self-salvation through positive thinking and affirmation is an atmosphere both inside and outside much of the church life of today. Now, of course, there is a truth underlying both karma and new thought. 
This is a world of moral law. You do reap what you sow. Christianity affirms that and affirms it strongly. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. If you work with the moral universe, if you work with the moral universe, you get results. It will back you, sustain you, further you. But if you work against the moral universe, you get consequences. You'll be up against it, frustrated. Some people go through life getting results. Others get consequences. Here's our prayer for today. Oh, Father, I thank you for this moral universe. It is your preventive grace preventing me from destroying, preventing us from destroying ourselves. For our deeds to destroy us, and they do, for, for our deeds do destroy us, and they do build us up. We are, in many ways, the result of our doing. Help us to come to terms with your moral universe. Amen. And our affirmation for the day, I shall get results today, for I shall work with God's moral universe. Jesus is Lord.